Na, yeah? Where? Uh, Chidi Manwagbara, please indic indicate the country and the, in the embassy, I beg. Uh, I beg. Hmm? And he also send the talk, talk to the microphone, sir. We need to know the, the location and, and the also enrollment the number. enrollment number. Thank to you. ordinary president. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, honorable president. Where did your name? Where you live and from? My name is John. I come from Germany, Munich, precisely. We, you, 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 come from where? Germany. 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 Uh huh. I did hear you. Okay. All right. I beg. Uh, let me take call for people that will depart from uh, this. Uh, no, this is they carry their passport. They will collect their passport for them. They will give you. They will send me the copy. Two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. I'll be send my brother. Come give you. Who they, give, uh, who they do that one? Okay. Uh, mm. Calm down. Mm. Who you, does that? You mm. talk say now one Nigerian man they connive with one uh, uh, German poli uh, police bar. No, the, the, the people who they deport from me, if they reach a port from Nigeria, mm. immigration will collect their passport. Uh -huh. They are me because they claim now with me. Wait, if they who deport they, them uh, from, uh, from Germany, come back to Nigeria. Uh, immigration to Nigeria, will seize their passport, uh, uh, tell them to pay how much? 500,000, 200,000. My brother would have said, I can't give you. That's how we pay that cheap pay arrow, the work away. That pay arrow, he said, 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Janet Bukola, you say, I like your cap, Honorable Minister. Please, Honorable Minister, don't change track, the track. Nigeria is moving forward. Thank you. So, make you no change your track. Last caller, now. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Dear uh, Vice President, I agree to... Waiting be your name, last caller for today. My name is Mr. Friday Adderaro. I call from the Republic of Ireland, Dublin. Okay, Dublin. Waiting be your contributor, sir. Okay, get uh, yeah, my contribution, I, I'm here to just appreciate the new Minister of Interior. I don't know if he's still there. I'm here. Is they here? Is they hear you? Okay. I think from my observation, mm. this new minister will be a great man. Yes. Because yes. I I feel he carries the same objective and the same thing way we will be abroad the team here. Mm -hmm. This man will be I think the only minister for now where I think he's the minister. Very true, and very true. Get I appreciate. Like, in a minister, what does not need minister? Exactly. Mm -hmm. If we can get five or six of this kind of man, even three, only the affairs in Nigeria, I tell you, Nigeria will be a better place for us to live. Yes, sir. Because all these years, I've never, I never see person where they very proactive like this man. We carry the influence of the country for hard. Mm. I bet they should keep up with this good work. If he continue like this, mm. he will get a bigger reward in the mm. best future. And I see him going places. Yeah. If he not change in part and now, if he can continue the way he stands, or some people start well at the end, they end badly. Mm. If this man can continue well, I promise him, the people like us will sing this praise and it will go and probably go rule our country if God helps us continue Amen. like this. Amen. I appreciate him. Mm. My friend traveled to Nigeria from Canada a week ago. He said he would possess a passport of Bayansa. Within four days, he got his passport. I was shocked. Hmm. I said, you mean? I said, yes. So within four days, he got his passport. Mm. So, Minister, 
Keep it up. You are doing a good job. You are a young Thank man. You. If young people, because the young ones of these days, we are scared. They will say, ah, young people not go free. And because we don't see many young ones like you will hold position, like a uh, governor. That young man, but I don't say anything when you do. I just say anything that man does. Well, but you see person like you now. Hey, hold on, dear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I entered Kogi <laughs> not too long ago. Okay. I see roads for local jail. People where okay. where where been they follow that road? Talk say that road been nyama nyama before. But okay. the governor not the governor don't do all the roads where I see. So make we appreciate the higher bill okay. for. Uh, okay. I can no over clock. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Yes, President. Sir. Thank you. Thank God you. bless you. And we appreciate your work also. I appreciate you every time I watch your program. Mm -hmm. You make my days. And sometimes I did too emotional. I don't like the way they do emotional most. I want to hear some cases. I'm sorry. I, I really appreciate you. God sorry. bless you. And thank God will you, give sir. you the strength to continue doing this job. Amen, sir. God bless you, my Amen. President. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. May yeah, you never God. suffer waste pain, sir. Amen. May you never experience power failure on duty. Amen, <laughs> Amen my president. Thank you, thank you. Amen. <laughs> my brothers, my sisters, if when I looked at on a CC time done, they give us signal, signal to do the signal, make come back to the studio, make one choke mouth before the honorable minister go take 30 minutes, uninterrupted 30 minutes to respond to all the suggestions, questions, and uh, uh, complaints. Who won't ask question? Mm -hmm. We start with uh, my daughter, Hadiza. Yes, sir. Uh, good morning, my ordinary president. Good morning, my dear. Good morning, your, uh, your excellency, honorable minister. Mm. My name is Hadiza Ibrahim, mm. and I want me ordinary president help me for waiting i want to talk mm. join your voice on top of my small voice i don't add thank you very much mm. sir mm. yes sir i want to plead with the honorable that please he should help us with one person from his ministry to stand as a liaison officer here in human rights radio to always take first hand uh complaints and also uh Continue, my dear. To help us get one person to serve as a liaison officer here in Human Rights Radio so that he or she will always take first hand information to him so that it will enable him my to work, sir. No beggar. Okay, sir. First of all, if you say if he send liaison here, yes, sir. He no do us favor. Yes, sir. Which thing will they do here? Now value will they add to in work. We no charge and cobble. Yes, sir. Uh, that is number one. Even if he send liaison, we no get guarantee. Say the liaison go go, go sustain the tempo. See police service commission. They send one amiable liaison. He come. He don't run. He don't see say pressure done too much. Uh, presidency villa been sent uh, two liaisons. Yes, Where sir. you see them, they don't run. Why? Because they work here. When you, you they hear us from outside, you go to say now nah, because we they use broken English, they do the program. Hey, now nah, yeah, yeah, people. When you come here, you cry, you laugh, you cry, you laugh. After one week, two weeks, your mood go change. <laughs> You understand? Yes, so sir. So now beg the minister. Okay, sir. If he send, we go accept. If you no send, you know they do us favor. Yes, now sir. we they do government favor. Yes, sir. Government no, they no, no they give us cover. Yes, sir. See, population commission come. They get budget for publicity. They know, they they know know where we did. Now when we talk, say they know they work, and true, true, they know they work until they prove otherwise. Yes, sir. They don't arrange themselves. They do it for studio. We go hear them. Yes, we sir. go ask them questions. Yes, sir. They must prove to us say then they work. Yes, sir. That border, border waiting, border community development where where the thief money since 
where well, they know they go border community. If you go to GBA border now, yes, sir. The community there, the Niger government, they take care of them. Network, if they want make call, no be Nigerian network they, they uh, use. They no get network there. Now Niger network orange now then they use. And we, I don't want to talk too much, oh. Drink water, sir. Calm down, sir. Make a drink water. Make a drink water. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Mention make yes, make, sir. Make, make make we appreciate her. I don't the vex. The some marine don't they continue? Who else want to talk? Because okay. what I know go talk. Okay, okay. Uh -huh, you. Good morning, Berkata family. My name is um, Teresa Thomas. Um, my question be say, people they pay money when you go do your update for NIMSI. and if you want to update also for your international passports. For example, me, I do my international passport before I do my NIMSI. Now the names they conflict, so then tell me pay money to be able to get an update when oh, I want to do no for international passports I do international passports before NIMSI now the name for NIMSI and international passport no tally so now before I go do renewal I go pay money mm. to do updates okay so I want to find out why and if there is a way forward such Thank that you. we no go pay money again NIMSI Thank you, where you they see yes you go you give them correct information. Then go do mistake by themselves deliberately. When you come back, they go say you go pay money to correct that mistake. I don't know whether you understand. NIMS uh, don't tell uh, where they, they do that 419 to Nigerians. We go correct them now. But um, as we, because I don't know go talk. <laughs> President. Uh, hey, barista, pa, uh, barista, uh, good morning, Madnari President. Uh -huh. Good morning, Nigerians. Good morning, the Honorable Minister. Madnari President, as we can see, but it is sweet me since mm. where I see the Honorable Minister. Mm. Because who no like Betatin? Mm. Yes, we like him. He carry action, mm. he carry energy too. Mm. Yes, but there's an important area where he go, where be the prison, the congestion, where we they talk. Mm. And the uh, waiting they happen for this country get as it be now in the judiciary because um, under section 293 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, it stated that you can get a remand order when there is no court that has jurisdiction around that place to remand person. That, that one means say you go fit carry person from police station to the prison. That one lasts for 14 days and renewable for another 14 days. But waiting our prosecutors and the, some judicial staff they do, like the registrars and people where they work for court, including some judges in small, small courts, waiting then they do be say, then go just give people that order. Then go carry person where court never asks guilty or not guilty. Then go carry them straight to the prison like that. And dump them there. And dump them. And even the in charge of the prison, no go try to know, uh, has this person gone to the courts? Waiting happen, waiting happen. Did he uh, meet up with the bad condition or not? Mm. Because we are talking about a waiting trial. There are so many innocent people in Nigeria cor correctional centers that has not gone to court for once. And anything why they talk here, I get the evidence. Even yesterday, police carry person where they no carry go court, go prison. If you want evidence, I go supply them as many as possible. So before the introduction of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act in 2015, we were happy that um, when the Administration of Criminal Justice Act came come into force, that all the police officers, all the prosecutors in Nigeria will become lawyers. And uh, the ADA made it possible. Right now, as we speak, all the prosecutors we have are lawyers. And still waiting, they happen, still they happen. You see a client arranging with the police prosecutor, uh, arranging with the, some judges, and taking innocent people to the prison. So even if you release all these ones that you want to release now, without going to the source, within two weeks, then go still carry plenty of people, mm, enter there. Hi. Again. Make we appreciate Barista Ogo. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, do your hair. Yes, sir. I know big granite oil. Now, Ororo. Yes, sir. Make we appreciate. Make we appreciate. So I thank God for 
for the partnership with, between you and the Attorney General of the Federation. So they have to sanitize the judiciary, especially the police prosecutors no, just, just, and the, some judicial It's deliberate, staff. don't worry. So they have to sanitize that place and check who, who is the prosecutor, who is the judge, who, and they, they will be able to differentiate between civil and criminal cases. And sir, Honorable Minister, some prosecutors don't take for a particular court. So the judges, they come meet them there. Now then they decide the direction where judgment go. go. Mm. Uh, 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 na, na lie, lie. No be lie, sir. They, let, let them be able to differentiate between a civil case and a criminal case. Because even the civil, as not be all cases, they go court. You get some cases where you go see, you go see there's no cause of action. You know, go carry this one, go court. But this one, anything where if you see person you no know, greet you well in the morning, police go charge them to court mm. instead of dismissing the case. It is very bad. Thank and you. Uh, some of us will be back where they travel by road. I don't enter uh, uh, Bene Republic, uh, Togo to Ghana from by road from Lagos. If you if you if you are heading to that place, you go see um, uh, immigration. You go see. Um, uh, customs. You go see all manner of our Nigerian force people there, extorting money from innocent people. People where they even carry something, where they say they don't carry, they know they even check their boots or anything. But innocent people, then they stop every minute, then go stop you. If you, uh, if you enter Togo from Benin Republic, you no go see anybody till you get to Ghana. Mm. But once you, you are coming back and you, you enter our own problem, go there. Now, so then they uh, put roadblock everywhere. They like extort that. people. They money. extort people money. Thank so you. I want to know where to now go feed. Thank you. Make we appreciate Barrister. Nsika <laughs> Tom, he say my ordinary president. My daughter have to run out of school. JSS Baupe in Kuje yesterday. With by force vaccine of cancer. I beg. Make we talk about this. Uh, make we talk about this. Uh, uh, Nsika Tom from Ako Estate. They, they buy first children, they give them the, that so called cervical cancer vaccine. America never get cure for vaccine, uh, for cancer. In Europe, everywhere, now Nigeria, they, they carry rubbish. Can't do experiment with human beings here. We won't allow it. We go begin arrest them, hand them over to police. Until Federal Minister of Health come on air to talk, say it they work. And we go ask question, how it take the work? Which lab will not get to verify the content of the vaccine? Every rubbish you 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 bring it into Nigeria as a dumping ground. See people will collect COVID nineteen vaccine. See what it happened to some of them. We did here. Mm. Thank you very much. We go okay. Make it no be okay, Coach Amino. Yeah. Good morning, my ordinary president. Uh, good morning, honourable minister. So my own is a question: uh, visa fee for foreigners. Uh, my friend wanted to come to Nigeria from, he has a UK passport, and they told him to pay $144 for visa fee, and then by metric, 170 Thousand naira? No, dollars. Uh -uh. Yes, sir. And then they said you should pay $20 for service charge, and another $35 for processing fee. So I want if the Honorable Minister can share the Honorable light Minister, on this. Is that, you did hear, but you did repeat the the, uh, uh, the amounts and they are tied to. Yes, sir. Visa fee one hundred and forty-four U.S. dollars. Biometric one hundred. Calm down now. You did write them. Okay, sir. Visa fee how much? One hundred and forty-four U.S. dollars. Mm -hmm. One hundred and seventy processing fee. A uh, biometric. Sorry. Yes, a service charge, 20 U.S. dollars, and then 35 dollars for processing fee. Altogether, how much? 360 dollars. Okay. 
So, Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, Cousin Ike. <laughs> um, Jessica. <laughs> oh, uh, hold uh, the pot. <laughs> Once he, he <laughs> will, they, uh, talk uh, off guard, of the mic. Uh, ordinary president. Mm -hmm. The thing said, we're going to make me talk uh, off guard. You don't already answer them. Mm. Now, when I talk, say space, no day for lie zone. Nobody say space, no day. Mm. But now, whether the lie zone go fit in deal. Mm. And then they well, va uh, add service value. Commission on mm. don't run. Since, mm. since, since. So, uh, add value. Uh, but some other things they were have been one touch light. Uh, for one of them, uh, this uh, 2022 2023 immigration and uh, NSDC uh, recruitment, where we will there. Even though I know say you know they are 2022, but I believe say you go get what you go do or talk, we go give these young people uh, hope and possibly uh, give a direction for future. But That's one. Mm -hmm. Then the second one, the, this idea of uh, uh, people where they enter Nigeria, a visa on arrival, visa on arrival, and then we were there from Nigeria. When we they go their own side, we go queue, even go buy uh, numbers for uh, make their we, embassies, uh, for their embassies. in Nigeria uh -huh. to get visa so before. Uh, we travel out of this country. Some even when they give us the visas, we arrive, they go bundle us back without any mm, cost, reason. Mm. any reason. So some say their visa fee go reach to buy car uh, inside Nigeria here. So I don't know whether the ministry get anything to do about <laughs> all of that. Okay. But finally, ordinary president, um, as I just uh, see the, this minister and the way where they talk and the way where they walk, but let this with me because I've been remember say one particular time, one picture go viral where we say a minister, they oddly they tie in shoelace. Mm. I don't know whether you remember. Mm. And the bill I said a ministry were even nearly near their own. But now, for what we see, for a minister to be down to eight like this, and not only that is down to eight, but collected and clear-headed about what he wants to do and sincere about it. Nine, they take note um, by himself. It means say uh, hope day. When he come, I've been reserved this seat for the SAP A1, P, A3, P, A4. But they talk, say, he waiting P, A, go do where he no go feel do at his uh, age and health. So, and you can see how it's going. He no need anybody to begin to do mm. no for me. me say, hope day for this country. Mm. I am honestly speaking, I'm excited about this. If I, if we can have two, three of these, just That's three. That's all. Nigeria, uh, just don't, don't work with uh, that. Yes, mm. yes. Because he's not just talking like they will talk in politics. He's saying this is what we have done. This is what we are going to do. This is the timeline. These are things oh, you can check. Oh, mm. if you, if uh, people like him, this cast. Mm. He go do Minister of Interior mm. for two years. Mm. They go move uh, move them to Ministry of Education mm. for two years. Mm. Move them to Ministry of. Or maybe they even make a monitor uh, for the monitor, class of uh, 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 ministers. Monitor of ministers. A uh, monitor of uh, ministers, uh, so uh, that uh, I could uh, knock uh, some uh, people uh, for uh, it. Uh, thank you, man. We appreciate uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Jessica, you don't they offer them now? <laughs> I, I never finish. I don't do. Uh, thank you. Some people don't do shit. Justice for consultant. I justice for consultant. I <laughs> see. Um, check. Yes, please. Yeah, my president. Good morning, sir. I must commend the minister because waiting in they do and waiting in don't do. Show say yes, is they ready to work? And I want to beg because as you they work, you get people where they work with you. I want to make you carry them along, make them happy because somebody just sent me a message. Say you get one uh, pe peculiar allowance where they approve since June. Say they never get them. So try make you make your staff happy so that the work will be sweet to you. And are, they, are, are the staff working? The ones who won't work. The ones who won't hey, work, make hey, them happy. Hey, the hey, ones hey. who won't work, make sure them exit. Who, who work? Go chop. The one who no work, go suffer. What did they tell me? Okay, some of you, your evil servants, uh, friends, don't call you now. This man is trying to understand, the, understand why they are wasting that money without working. 
I don't know. I don't know whether you understand. Yes, Bunch of civil servants we got that we know they're productive. Tell person to come uh, seven o'clock. He say seven o'clock. Ah ah. See minister six thirty. Meet him here. Make we appreciate him. <laughs> now, time don't reach where we will listen to the honourable minister. But before then. Make this young man stand up. Make it uh, re narrating story. How he take go prison. What it happen so that as the honorable minister of interior they go, he go carry this young man for him body. <laughs> honorable minister, you see this how we condemn so. Now policeman condemn him. You go hear in story. Good morning, my ordinary presidents, and good morning, Brekete family. On 2019 at Massacre, mm. so I come there because me at the farm, I see they drive pickup. Mm. So I come there, make a buy something, nine policemen. They come meet me for that shop where I want to buy something. Who, they, who come meet you? Policeman, then drive golf. How many of them? There are three. They wear uniform? They wear uniform, sir. Mm -hmm. So as they come now, they come call me, say, Nami be Bawa Gombo. I say no, my name na Solomon Bawa. So the other one say make I go. So as he goes, he say come, come here again. Say make I enter the motor. So I think say na smart na I come follow the go station. Reaching there, they say make I remove my belt, remove my shoe. They come put me for sale. They no do anything again till evening. I call they shout. What do I do? What do I do? So that one for Masaka they come slap me again, put me for sale. So in the following day, they come carry me go stay CID for Lafia. Reaching the NBC, the man just start to beat me. I come they shout, I come they shout, nobody come. Now only me and now. Say now maybe Bawa the, the name of the policeman, mm -hmm. the name na Inspector Usman Angbashi. Mm -hmm. So as me I come they shout now, now in, in free now come to say you go kill me. So me and no I say say tell and say my own name now Solomon Bawa. Now in friend come tell me say if I no come answer that Bawa Gumbo, if he can kill me no case will. Mm. Now I can answer. A fellow policeman. Yes, his name na Inspector Ado Bature. Na Inspector Ado Bature. Eh, na I advise you say make a answer. Me no if come. If you no answer, yeah. say this man mm. fit kill you. Yes, and sir. no case, no good day. No case. So now from there, now I come break this my hand. As you come break my hand, the pain come too much now. As I come, they shout, I come, they shout. Now I come say, if I know they keep quiet, I go condemn the tutu hand. You come carry this needle where we they use and they sew back. You come bust my hand for you. Yeah. Hey. Now be this the one. The second hand. hand. Yes, sir. Mm. Now I be this one, sir. Mm. So they think come, they bring blood, pa spray everywhere. I call her down for grand, he shout, the knock leg for grand. He no can't leave me again, he can't see his that same needle again. Still can't chuck me for here. Yeah. Mine be this one. He can't chuck me for, he can't chuck him for me for, for, for my back for, for here. Yeah. So now I'm with me. Okay, sir. They talk, uh, this is, they come with me. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So as Khan chuck me for back, now nah, blood they come out. I can't dead there. You know, carry me go hospital. Now so I did there. I did there like two months. So one Friday, he can't carry me. He can't carry me from Stacey Adi. He can't carry me go uh, prison from Stacey Adi. So now I can't there, you know carry you know carry me go court. Hold on, sit down. Okay, sir. You can't carry me from Lafia prison. Well, from Lafia State CID. Direct from State CID to prison. You know carry me go court again. I can't there, there like three years. No court. No hospital. I like say I go die, I no go die. Other people might they die there. Because before I lived there, now 19 people died. But me, I no die. So I come there, there like that, and I ain't control, I come come prison. I come go block her. After I finish salad, I come tell her. 
my friend they carry me straight, go to their record office. They tell them, send me them, transfer me, come, Kefi. So they come carry me from Lapia prison to Kefi prison. That was in 2000, um, 2022, January 10. They carry me, come, Kefi. So as they carry me, come, Kefi, now, so I come there, because no drugs. Mm -mm. For the no friend. treatment. No treatment. So my fellow email like that, he gave one man the color and now one can do He don't do ten years for that prison. He's still there up what to What do he do? I see na na in Ilo. They drive somebody, one oga. So the oga now can't die. They can't lock him for for station. So in come call and say me come bella. Mm -hmm. I see come bella. Now they see lock him. But in with the person. He did prison so they talk for cafe prison. You don't do he things. don't do anything. They are just come bail, person. bail me. Yes, sir. They, they catch and join. Yes, then lock he don't. He, he don't prison for 10 years now. Yes, as I they talk now, he did for We prison. are going for him yes. by the grace of in God. Him now Benjamin Musa Gauji. Which said. prison? It's for Kefi New Prison. Okay, so continue. So as I did deal like this, so that my con, they see how me I did. Because even for the prison where they carry me come, as I know where they put me for, now band over now they did. Which one no. be the Bandova? Bandova, but I mean inside prison, they are still prison again. Huh? Yes, sir. Inside prison, they are still prison again. That one a back there. You go now, so you go there. You go do toilet there. You go chop there. I say go there. I there come there. So he now, he come there help me. They go kitchen because I since don't stay for that prison. You get privilege. They they open and they work out. In the go kitchen, they get hot water. Now they use and they press me. your hand. So as a con, they do one like this. Now one woman can come. You can come prison visit. She can see see. Me be solo mobile. I say hey, to me I go school. I go primary school, I go secondary school. She can't ask me, say, now how she go take get my own certificate. I can't tell her, say, if she go to my village, because I get my junior brother, they go give her. Because as they arrest me, where they stay, say, the way my mother don't come. She don't see this wound, this one, everywhere. It don't collapse. So she go back. She can't die. She can't die. So they think come too much. So she can't pity me like that. She use her own money. She go call my village. That's the lawyer. Yes, that's the CY Masha. Mm. She can't go there now. Go get my own certificate that I prove that I'm solo mobile. That was where she served this year. They can't court. That's how I court too, Maraba. They can't do the case now. Now they come, say, make a bring two people for me, they sign for me. Upon say, then, yeah. then discover, say, yes, sir. No, be you be, uh, yes, sir. Um, Bawa Gumbo. They arrest the Bawa Gumbo. Mm. He can't give them 150,000. They release them. They release them. He still go, he do like one year plus. They still go commit another crime. They still arrest them, follow the same state here. They still commit me for. Lafia prison. They still can't transfer them from Lafia prison. Con Nasarawan Toto prison. I don't know whether the don't release them. Yes, sir. So now waiting happened to me with that, sir. So as after yesterday that you send us to go to hospital, sir. Mm. Taking me to the hospital when we reach there, the the man that we met there, mm. he checked the hand. He said the hand no go work again. He said anywhere where we go, the hand no go work again. So there's nothing I can do now. Mm. So as I tell my wife that this is what happened, she, she's crying because even when my mother died, she still there in our family house, reaching where one of my stepbrother like this kind of trouble her before she traveled to uh, Bauchi State because she's from Bauchi. She's Bauchi now? Yes, sir. So I call her, she's crying. That's nothing I can do now. So as what do like. you feel do with okay. Um who who carry you go hospital yesterday? Nah. Yes. Now you carry me go hospital. You just hold on, sir. Yes. Good morning, my ordinary president, sir. Which <laughs> hospital do you carry and go first? 
We first go Alliance uh, Hospital. When I see Dr. Otabo? Now, Dr. Otabo himself. Okay, good. Yes, Let sir. Let me appreciate the Dr. Otabo of Alliance Hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, he even talks, say, even if you need more clarity, say, if he call you, make it talk. See, because what it happen to him? Mm. It just be like, say, person, you plant tree, you can't go cut the tap root. So whether you uproot the tree, or you know uproot, and once you cut the tap root, cut the root, you leave the die, tree, go, the tree will die, dry, go. begin dry. So now what did they do to this hand? Say so what did they do? The way we connect in uh, a spinal cord mm. with the hand, where they send everything for and where they connect with the brain. Now that one, I they uproot, so they don't disconnect them. Say so anywhere. They you know not be fact, not be saying in the doubt term, but nobody will if you do anything except make we make sure say Nigerian police compensate them the way they supposed to do because you know deserve what they do. I call Doctor Ogedengbe in no peak. I believe say maybe you one send of the uh, not the mistake why we'll go with that. Still go to Cedar Crest Hospital. Yes, sir. Made and check her. Yes, sir. Now, Honorable Minister, sorry, people they talk say this case don't spoil uh, uh, Honorable Minister mood. Yes, he is a human being. That uh, now person where they connect with human feelings be this, now it make the thing affect them. Um, your wife they about you now. Yes, sir. What thing we go fit do where your wife go, go, go fit come back, sir? Uh, if I, if I, uh, I, I get transport for her, I think she will come back because... Where are you, they live? Me now, I don't feel it for massacre again. I can't stay with one of my friends for uh, uh, Aku. Mm. Yes, sir. Now so, now squat you, they squat? Yes, sir. Now How you, your wife will come stay with you? Yes, sir. When you the squad, when yes, I when I get uh, children, we we'll get two children, sir. One boy, one girl. So then they with, with, with uh, she, your they, wife now. Yes, sir. Uh, with, with, with her parents. Yes, sir. For Bauchi. Yes, sir. Where in Bauchi? Mm, she then uh, uh, this thing. Uh, when last see. you go see them? Which 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 time you come up from prison? I come off for prison this 31st of uh, August. 31st of August? Yes, sir, this August. So she came when she came. I... She came? Yes, sir, she came immediately. As immediately. you come off from prison, she yes, come? Yes, sir. So okay. As she came, I woke up as I see my mother grave. I know she sleep. So mm -hmm. I know she's, I know she's still house. Mm -hmm. That's why I come. Okay, the uh, trauma. If I... Oh, no, uh, fully well that... Uh, it was because of you that yeah, your mother died. Yes, sir. So, you're going to go better for uh, the, this policeman. Yeah. You're not go better for her. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I withdraw that. But God would give him waiting, yeah. waiting, yeah. waiting, waiting yeah. So which business your wife they do now? Where did they survive? So she just they manage they do farm. Farm? Yes, sir. How old are your children? Uh, one is 10 years because it's 2012 on 6th of June. Another one is 2015, the day that they elected uh, Mr. President Muhammad Buhari. That was mm. on Saturday. Nine years born now. Yes, sir. It's almost eight to nine years mm. now. Okay. Uh, they call Femi, you know, peak. I. Been that has you small, small money, but yes, sir. How much be transport to Bauchi? So I don't tell now, I don't know how much is the transport, but sir. give me a rough idea. Maybe you go say like 10,000 or 10,000. Um, 5,000. You go pass, okay. Are the uh, Karamakala, you, you get account? No, yeah, sir. I don't know, know get account. You sir. go carry and go. Yes, my Made them president. open account for them today. Inshallah. Go, carry and go, go touch bank. Yes, sir. I go put three hundred thousand naira into the account. For them. Thank you, sir. You hear? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. That three hundred thousand naira, you go take and travel. 
Okay, sir. Your mother-in-law is still there alive. Yes, sir. She's still there you alive. Go, go, you go dash her 50,000. Thank you, sir. Your father-in-law is still there alive. You know they're alive, He sir. don't die. Yes, sir. Then you go carry 100,000 naira, give your wife. Okay, sir. Say, this one, now to appreciate you. Okay, sir. For being faithful mm. to yes, marriage. Mm. Yes, sir. Because not be every woman go go green stay. Mm. Yes, sir. Even if when I don't bump picking, yes, sir. Then the remaining one take can whole body. Thank you, sir. When you come back, yes, sir. I go give you money to rent house. Thank you, sir. I go, uh, uh, I go give your wife capital to start business. Thank you, sir. When I go continue life by the God. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank for you. this three hundred thousand naira now, to, for you to transport yourself, yes, sir. Show your mother-in-law, yes, sir. How grateful. grateful you are. Yes, sir. Show your wife how grateful you are. Yes, sir. For standing by you. Yes, sir. You hear? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. They will open the account today. Okay, sir. By the grace of God, I will put the 300,000 300, naira into the account today. Thank you, sir. God. Thank you, sir. Read today. You did plan to travel. Sir. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll, I'll go next tomorrow, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. May God make it easy for us. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. With this one now, back to the Honorable Minister. Make you respond. Hmm. Well, um, <clears throat> sorry. Thank you so much, um, ordinary president. Um, what I've just heard is humbling because this could have happened to anybody. Mm. Well, I will discuss with you in private later on this issue. Yes, sir. But I'm sure um, thorough investigation must be done and justice must not just be served, justice must be seen. To be served. <laughs> I'll discuss with you, but I want to encourage you, my brother. I understand it's tough, mm. but take note, you are not alone. We are with you. Nigeria is with you. And please do not let some little bad eggs within the system make us lose faith in terms of who we are and who we ought to be. I'm sorry for your plight. Thank you, sir. I'll discuss with ordinary president. And I'm sure the president, Paula Metinubu, Hearing this story will hey. be touched, and I can assure you, this will get to places you cannot imagine. Mm. I can assure you of that. I can assure you of that. The essence of government is not just to protect the strong, but to protect the weakest in our society. That's the meaning of governance, and that's what government is meant to do. It is well. It is well. I'll, I'll discuss with you, sir. Yes, sir. But this is... I just imagine the children, honestly. I imagine losing a mother. Mm. And I can only imagine being years without a father. Mm -hmm. And your father comes out and he becomes deformed and incapacitated. For a, an offense he did not commit. By the grace of God, sir, we'll talk. It's okay. Thank you. Yeah. Let's appreciate the Honorable Minister. Thank you. Well, we spoke about, let me respond to uh, notes. One, the first caller from Florida, he spoke about ministry not paying staff. I don't think that is true, to the best of my knowledge. Mm -hmm. Every staff, they are an automated payment uh, payroll, so they get their payment. And we must understand that the embassies and the missions are not 
under fo Ministry of Interior. They are under foreign affairs. We must understand that. But I'm sure my brother in Ministry of Foreign Affairs is doing everything, and they do everything we're supposed to, to make sure that um, a foreign representation and image is well managed. I know he's doing a lot. So, and I've always said this, there is no excuse for crime. So if you are taking bribe, you cannot create an excuse for it. It's not compulsory, say make you work abroad. If you cannot do the work abroad and you think within then they pay you no do, you can as well apply for them to co bring you back to Nigeria. So if you stay there, can't they collect bribe on pretending that, oh, because of this, then nalai. So I want to beg, and they said they are gathering money for their guys. I don't know who their guys are, and I know nobody gather money for me. So I have told people, uh, if don't give bribe to anybody, for five-year passport abroad, I think it's one hundred and is it 142 dollars yes and i know 10 years is about 242 dollars for 10 years that's the amount a couple more is not acceptable if they no give you i know i've been receiving a lot of emails even in my private mail and i've been attending to it you get in touch with us and that's why i'm very grateful for the suggestion that one of our people brought which is developing an app for complaints and I want you to know when I get to office it's one of the first instructions I will give today that they must we must start the process of developing that app so that anywhere in the world people can lodge their complaint and I can see it and dedicate the staff to be able to to see it so please do not pay more than the 142 dollars for five years and make you know pay one couple more for the 10 years that is meant to be 200 and Forty-two dollars abroad. Then, in Sweden, we have answered that already. That there is no embassy in Norway. Of course, that's the Scandinavian countries: Norway, Sweden, Finland. Um, so, but that's why we are opening front offices so that areas uh, where we no get embassy, we will have our front offices there for the purpose of um, the passport and. Um, passport solution. Then South Africa, then talk say their printing machine got spoiled. Yeah. Well, don't worry, that printing machine will work. Yeah, by the grace yeah. of God. I will not say more than that. Mm. But I'm sure the next time she will call you, she will tell you the system is working. Um I'm sure we'll, once I get to the office to do all these complaints, I will escalate and know what the problem is, and we will solve the problem, either human or either humanly or materially. Mm -hmm. Quote and unquote. Yes, sir. <laughs> we will make sure the system works. Then, uh, our caller from Holland spoke about prison feeding. Well, we are working towards that. Once we decongest, the money that is available for feeding will take care of more people. And uh, the president is... Presently, he is working on increasing the amount meant for uh, feeding of inmates because of, of course, um, increase in prices of things. Because the inmates are human beings, they have fundamental rights that must be protected. And the president, Bola Metinubu, has told me, everybody's interest must be protected no matter who you are or where you are. So the inmates are Nigerians. We must never forget that. That their inmates does not make them non nigeria they are nigerians and they deserve to be served by the government so the, pr the, pr the government is interested in that and i'm sure that by january next year once a new appropriation comes to being definitely we will see the difference even in their well-being and their welfare because we have to understand that government money is not like private money like now ordinary president say i will do three hundred thousand naira today because it's private money mm -hmm. If it is government money, you must spend according to budget. Mm -hmm. Even sometimes you see what you suppose spend money on. If budget no day, you no know day. As we can go, we used to say, uh, if you no know day, you no know day. So if it is not there, you cannot. So we look at the budget. So we're already factoring this feeding into the 2024 budget that should take effect by January 1, by the grace of God. 
then um okay your issue was what uh uh Daura spoke about someone spent four years in prison straight from police station without gotcha. trial it's your issue we, 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 we will not just talk about it here because me the one of the problems in nigeria we see we did we talk more than we do mm. you know like we've turned we are see, we've turned ourselves to people of talk shops, mm. not workshops. Mm. We should work and not just talk. There are actions that we will take. I will discuss the strategy with him. Yes, sir. But I can assure you, I can assure you, and I can assure you, mm. this case will not be buried. Oh! Mm. Then we spoke about uh, Beirut. 100 uh, Beirut, Lebanon, 170 dollars. Um, I couldn't get that precisely what he meant by 170. Yes. And, uh, in, 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 can't explain again, so yeah. carry on, sir. Okay, that's for the Beirut, um, uh, Lebanon. Okay, yes, that they have to go to somewhere to go and do it for that's why mm. we are serving this with the front offices. Mm that we are opening and all front our front offices will take effect from february 2024 mm. Mm. when we i now. so when i talk of what the government wants to do i will tell you when we want to do it mm. so that there is a metric you can use to measure mm. performance Hi. so by february next year our front offices including manchester like our brother that called from uh, uk in edinburgh mm. we are going to have one in edinburgh edinburgh is in scotland so it's going to be in scotland there will be another one in cardiff which is in wales and of course um canada they will have like uh, we have uh, manitoba we have uh, ontario we have vancouver we have different so we're going to open it so that people do not need to be flying mm. you know spend so much money on flight you or can't do train. that day mm. you will now sleep in hotel you will feed you will do this so if you tell people okay we're bringing it close to you of course it's going to be a private sector a ppp driven arrangement so if you are going to pay a token to, and you have your comfort and it's close to you. Why not? Mm. Even not just abroad alone, even in Nigeria. I will give you an example. I told them, if you, uh, the only thing is, if you go to the immigration office or the passport office, within two weeks, by the grace of God, you get your passport. But the issue is that if I work in Asokoro, I work in Metama, or I work, for example, in Games Village, and I don't have the time why must it be compulsory that I have to go to Salka in Airport Road before I can go and do my bi bi biometric? Mm. Why can't we even have private individuals? Of course, the enrollment will not be done by the private individual. Mm. The enrollment will be done by immigration officers posted to those places mm. because the law says that enrollment is the responsibility of immigration officials but this private sector can provide the center logistic support and administrative support for those immigration officers to do the enrollment mm -hmm. if we can have if i stay in nasokoro or i stay in Metaba, i stay in games village or i stay why must everybody go mm. to that far and uh, so it should be something uh, enrollment should be what you can Accessible. do during your break mm. period you don't need to cancel a day's job because you want passport thank you i think that's an area we need to also look at then my sister in singapore spoke about e-gate for all well i uh, singapore have been there a couple of times and i know even singapore now they are planning to face out physical passport mm. you know they have gone technologically they're, they're far 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 they've mm. gone far mm. but nevertheless we must understand that the security challenges confronting different nations are not the same. Mm. So for us as Nigerians, yes, in Nigeria, we we'll be able to yes, there are peculiarities. Mm. So in Nigeria, we'll be able to use the e gate to enter into Nigeria from next year. But for foreigners, they have to go through immigration so that at least there can be evaluation of who they are, and maybe in the future we might expand it to other people. But for now, even in UK. We still, they are not doing e-gate for everybody in London. 
E-gate is not for foreigners. If, if I still go to London tomorrow, I still, at immigration officers still, at, I, I mean, they still uh, attend to me. Mm. So there are peculiarities in terms of security. So as much as we won't make people comfortable, we must also make sure, see, national security, we know jeopardize them. Mm. We have to balance um, both sides. So that's the reason why we know go feed do E-gate for every body. Mm. Then, she also talks, say, we no get uh, immigration officers, no day they are consulate. They allow people that they go to Malaysia and they know they take, uh, they know they allow them pay online, but they pay cash. Mm. I will take that up anyway. Mm. But the fact is that with our front offices, where we they create, definitely in, there's no way Singapore no go get front office. Mm. So there are all these challenges. We use one stone to kill all the birds by the grace of God. But not paying cash, because you have to pay online. Now, within the law talk, you are supposed to pay online, then go to the center. So if there is, and if they are not doing, if they know they do what they're supposed to do, then we will know what to do. You mean to say make the sure say they go government? Yes, with, so uh, we'll, go, we'll, we'll make sure we work on that. Then, if you, Italy, my brother from Italy talks, say, the there is the NIN uh, from NIMSI is slow and lack of response. We are already solving that. The last week we hold meeting. I think last week Friday, um, me myself, DG NIMSI, the new DG, very brilliant person and very dedicated. Uh, the controller general immigration. I call meeting for my office. All of us NIMSI ministry and we can't talk. Say because if you not do your need properly. If, um, passport no good work and the two must work together so we can't talk say most of our offices we are going to have uh, desk officers that are NIMSI officers mm -hmm. we go do immigration okay. so that if at all anybody get problem mm -hmm. there for that place where you want to enroll your passport mm -hmm. if there's any problem there is somebody immediately to tackle it, so you know, be so to do the correction, to do all those things immediately. Mm, appreciate yeah, now. so we don't take that uh, that decision. That decision, what we don't take on Tuesday, on Friday Thank last you. week, and also NIMSI because now the government don't do so, uh, something way better. They don't move NIMSI from where for day before. NIMSI is now under Ministry of Interior. Mm. So Ministry, they under me now. So Congratulations that, uh, everything to us. Mm. To, so that everybody will come work together as one family. So with the work on NIMSI, so that their database, I mean their uh, server. server, their solution will go optimize them. Even uh, uh, immigration service to have, for them to have a reliable uh, internet service uh, internet service. With this, our, uh, our people should know that very soon the problem with NIN will be thin of the past. of the past. We are already working on that. Then uh, Canada, they talk about intervention. If we get uh, all these front offices where we say we won't create, there won't be need for intervention. Mm -hmm. That is the truth. Now because say the facility and office no day. Now the reason why we they do intervention be that. So we go bring the solution to our people down mouth. Then go they see the solution for their door. When they see the solution for their door, they no go talk say make uh, government can do intervention. So that one, wala no wala no day for that one. Then Kaduna say may well no be me be minister for me. Mm. So if the PC or they sell passport to highest bidder as I may well I know no be I know they there for me, but I know say Kaduna now. They don't get any backlog. All their passport now we don't print now they ready. In fact, what immigration they do now be say then they carry phone, they call person, come and collect. come collect your yeah, passport. For the now first time in the history happen. of Nigeria, make we so, appreciate. So we we'll, we we'll, we'll go make sure say uh we do what we're supposed to do. The Maldives, well, I know Maldives, so the capital is is in Males. I mean? Yes, M A L E S. That's Maldives. So that's the capital. So we have about 500 Nigerians. Uh, we cannot. I cannot sit here and promise anything for now, because we have to look at. Though every Nigerian deserves that access, but I will need to talk to the service provider for me to be able to know the solution. Okay. Because any solution I give, 
you will ask me later, you said this, how did you do it? Mm. Did you do it or not? Mm. So if there's something I'm not too sure of, Accountability. I cannot say it because mm. I want to be accountable, I want to be transparent, and I want the president, the renewed hope agenda, to have a true meaning in the Ministry of Interior. Mm. So I will not say what I don't know. So on the issue of the Maldives, I will ask and I will get back to you. Thank you, sir. Then you spoke about welfare of uh, paramilitary. Okay, then Germany, uh, about Munich, we are creating a front office in Munich. So the, well, all those people complaining of, oh, no center, this one, by the time the front offices start work in February, that one will solve uh, all the problems all over the world, including Nigeria. So because there are some places in Nigeria, for example, if somebody is in... Um, Ibadan. Uh, let me use uh, Lagos as an example. There are distances that you need to cover to go to the next passport office. Mm. Sometimes we need to reduce it and make life comfortable mm. for ourselves. Mm. Take it closer to people. It's just to do biometric. That's the that only thing. All. So once we take the biometric center close to people, then the job becomes mm. easy. And getting passport becomes like you want to get MTN card. Mm. You are happy. Everybody is happy. And of course, with your biometric, we'll do our security profiling and know who you are mm. before we issue. And once we issue, you stay in your house. We do a shelly to you. And another thing we are trying to do now, we say, would they, inst <laughs> would they try work on our software so that when you apply for passport, you can monitor the, you can track the movement. The movement. So when they look your document, it's okay. You go see them. If they print your passport, you go see them. If your uh, application get problem, you go know. You'll be able to reach out. If they print, you go know when they send it by DHL, you go know say they don't DHL. Like, you'll again. be able to track it. So all these things now we don't put together. Say February is our date of divine transformation of Nigerian Immigration Service. Mm -hmm. So that all by February, all these things go done day. Mm -hmm. So when you can monitor your passport application, maybe say one out. Go stay somewhere and say, don't worry, I'm helping you to do your passport. Mm. What are you helping me to do? Mm. It's like, uh, like uh, uh, what fella said, woman right now, my property. I mean, mm -hmm. and in my one dash me, woman right. Mm. You, know, you cannot dash people their property. A tout, you should not pay a tout to get your right. Mm. So by the time you can monitor, you will know that this is where your document is. This is where it is. It will bring accountability and transparency to the whole system. So mm. these are things we are trying to do. Now, let me go to the welfare of uh, paramilitary officers. According to the federal government um, uh, circular of, I think it was 1992, paramilitary officers are supposed to be on the same salary scale and uh, conditions of service with the Nigerian police force. That was signed by President General Muhammadu Buhari, um, Babangi, um, Ibrahim Badamosi Babangida when he was president in 1992. So what that means is that the Nigerian Custom Service, Nigerian Immigration, Nigerian Correctional Service, then Prison Service, uh, the... Uh, NIA? Uh, uh, no, not NIA. Okay. Uh, fire Service? Fire Service and all of them. They are supposed to be on the same salary and condition of service with the Nigerian police. So I'll be hearing people talking about this... Um, Allow peculiar allowance. Peculiar allowance was approved this year. And the whole mentality, because I need to say this on air so that we clear the notion. It's like government has shopped their money. Nobody ate your money. Allowance was approved by government, not as which is going to be embedded into your salary. That time, budget, the 2023 budget had gone. Mm, so, so it, government, you have to, after the approval from Salaries and Wages Commission, to take effect, it will take, to take effect, you have to be, you know, we have budget. to now get money, there will be budget, they will and put everything together before government will pay. It's like if government say we are going to increase your minimum wage. Government will either send a supplementary budget to National Assembly or you take effect from the next appropriation act. You cannot spend money that is not budgeted for. It's a criminal offense. So if somebody say, oh, pay us that money, no, 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 no. Where is the money? Where is it provided for in the law? So they should calm down. We are working on that. And by the grace of God, it's going to be captured and they will get every cobble 
that has been approved for them. They Thank can you. be rest assured of that. And secondly, we have already written to Nigerian Sal Salaries and Wages Commission. Already I wrote the letter, it was last week, we are following up to make sure that they regularize the salary and condition of service of our paramilitary officers. Because they are taking a lot of risk, especially, the, I'll give you an example, immigration service. These people, they are at our border. They face fire, they, they, they have a lot of security challenges that they face. Our civil defense, they protect our critical assets. They face terrorists, they face uh, van, uh, vandals, pipeline vandals, they do all sorts of, so our fire service people, they are facing fire, they are facing a lot of, so there's a lot of risk that these people are taking. And for me, on behalf of President Bola Mertin, I always say this, we are grateful for their service to Nigeria. We are very, very grateful for what they are doing for this country. So part of what we are doing is to make sure we have already written so that they will regularize their salary, you know, at par with that of the police mm. force. And that work is going on on that. So we are not resting on their on their um, matter. on their matter because we I understand that when person they happy it will work more. Mm. So we have to make them happy, you know. So part of another thing what we they do for their welfare, we're already working on that is the creation of what we call a, a paramilitary pensions board PPB, mm. so that the military they have the military pensions bah. board. They, uh, the police, oh they have the police no. pension board. This so these are our paramilitary, they deserve a pension board mm. of their own because of the level of hazard and risk yes, that they are taking. They cannot be on the normal pension mm. like uh, any other mm. person. So what is good enough for the, uh, in terms of enumeration for the, uh, remuneration rather, for the police that is good for others is also good for them. So, what so because they carry weapons, they instead of using this weapon to do bad things mm. to commit crime they are using it to serve nigeria and putting their lives mm. on the line so the risk that they are taking must be made to be worth it Thank you. so for us we are already working on that by the grace of god we are very keen on that that they, when they now even retire they know they have good pension waiting <laughs> for them I so we this are now. part of the things that we are doing for these paramilitary officers. Ah. And for me, my main concern is the happiness of my men. I want them to be happy so that they can give more to Nigeria. To whom much is given, much will be expected. Mm -hmm. So we will push all these things through so that Nigeria, when you go to America, you will see fire service in America. You will see police in America. You want the dress self. You go say you won't join. Mm. You are happy. Mm. We want our people to, to be so happy, to be so dedicated, to be so patriotic, to be so committed to what they are doing. But for them to give their best, they must know that they have what it takes to put food on the mm. table for their children. Mm. They have what it takes to pay children's school fees. Mm. They have what it takes to be husbands to their wives. Mm. They have what it takes. They are also human. And sometimes we need to juxtapose put ourselves in the positions of these people and know fully well that when they go out every day and they see an arm robber carrying gun robbing people and making a living they themselves they are carrying gun but defending the people mm -hmm. what is happening to their lives we must make sure that they are comfortable and i know the president is very passionate about that so the police uh, the paramilitary pensions board by the grace of god is coming up and of course the increase in their salary is coming up then the activation of the peculiar allowance is coming up when we are able to do these three and of course we must now put a lot of effort in capacity building mm -hmm. train them you cannot uh, train somebody you cannot expect that the highest level of training you give to a child is primary school and you expect him to go and, and uh, lecture in the university it's not going to work you can't give what you don't have so we have to put a lot of funds in training like our border now we have to now be able within the nigerian immigration service have and even the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps have what we call the Border Control Guard. When you have that, these are people that are trained on modern border control mechanisms. These are people that will be able to safeguard and make sure that we can sleep with our two eyes closed. So these are some of the things that we are doing. Then the caller from Switzerland pleaded that I should not change. Well, I tell people, I'm sorry, I'm 41, but I'm too old to change. 
And I know that the president is a man that does not, the president puts you on the spot. That's the truth. Maybe people, for those that do not know him, all the president cares about is result, result, result. If you are doing well, he will clap for you. The day you fall off track, you are out. So we are constantly under pressure. Even to me, to him now, Bumi, you must do more. This minister, you must do more. And he's a man that every day he cares about what is happening to Nigeria. What have you achieved? What are you doing? And very soon you will see that our colleagues will start rolling out the things that they are also doing. A lot of work is going on in the government and I'm sure when Nigeria starts seeing the dividend, which I know we are very anxious for, things will definitely change in terms of narrative. Thank you. Then, uh, part of, I must also say this before I answer a question about the studio audience. Um, as part of the things we are trying to do, which will also include the civil society, mm -hmm. is very important. Like the issue of the, the congestion of the correctional centers, the, the civil society, there's a lot of responsibility for the civil society because they are the conscience of government. That's the truth. Without the civil society, there is no democracy. Mm -hmm. What makes so criticism by the civil society is not destructive, it's constructive. And we must begin to tap the knowledge from the civil society and collaborate with them for effective service delivery. It's very, very important and paramount. So part of the things we want to do is to have a summit on protection of national assets. We must look at our national assets. Our schools are national assets. Our pipelines are national assets. Our agricultural Farms and national assets, our minefields are national assets, even the railway tracks and all this is national assets. But we must have a collaboration because, as I always talk, there is no one solution we will solve Nigerian mm -hmm. security problem. Mm -hmm. So, what I always talk, we say you need a cocktail of solutions, cocktail of ideas, and one person does, cannot have monopoly of it. I need to get from you, I need to get your brain, make ordinary president with all the people we don't call, 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 call different ideas. You bring them, you join them. Me, I bring my own uh, consultant. Uh, Ike. Ike, where they meet his mic. So, all of us, even uh, our lawyers, everybody. So, we'll very soon, we'll organize that, come up with that effective uh, plan for, for that, and make our schools and our centers more conducive for all. Now, to the studio audience, you spoke about liaison officer with human rights uh, radio. That's not, we'll work, we'll handle that our, at our own level. As I said, it is, you see, what is happening today is what government, I'm happy to be doing it because government is about engagement. That's the truth. There's a lot of work that government, if you, there's no government in a long time that has not done a lot, but probably for lack of engagement. People don't know uh, the way it is. Be. You know, like Yoruba, as we say, uh, Yoruba will say that at the end, Lagoon, remove the year, let people see the agun. Mm -hmm. What I mean is that when you remove it, people will see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So what we are doing is about engaging. And the only solution, and I always say that one of the major uh, solutions to our security issue in Nigeria is engagement. Honestly speaking, they are like we, we should be a country of people that will rather word the word than word the war. That's the simple truth. It's about the world. If you sit down and we talk, we can resolve a lot. So um, with Human Rights Radio, I want you to know you have a conscience. Me, I listen. I, I don't have a single CD in my car. Me, uh, the radio I did hear. And I was telling other president yesterday, they say, Ebe lembe, oh, lo, lo. You know, in fact, once they just say it, even my small daughter can say, oh, lo, lo. So, <laughs> it's, so it's something that is... So you are our conscience. That's just the truth. When we do well, I'm happy. You will say, hey, you are doing well. But when we, you know, we deviate, you say, hey, um, this one is wrong. That is conscience. Mm -hmm. And anybody that scolds you, chastises you, is somebody who loves you. The person wants you to improve. When you see a child mm -hmm. that is doing bad and the papa no talk, he's doing bad. The papa no talk, he's doing bad. The papa no talk. Just don't say the papa don't give up. Mm -hmm. But when you see a child that goes and the father corrects him, it's because the father knows that this is not you. Mm. Come on and be better. So that's what it takes to be the conscience. Mm. So you are our conscience.
not see. You should have that force and be able to project into the future. So most of this problem, no be government for make we tell ourselves the truth. If you they do NIMSI registration for you, they give you a slip. Right there, you look your name. If they give you slip, you just put time for pocket. You look at it right there. The name is not correct. The date of birth is not correct or something. You have the right at that stage to reject it. I said, this is not my data. Let's call a spade. My, my account officer, Fermi, hmm. you go to NIMSI office. Now me, you even send them go to their headquarters. They do everything. Femi gave them the right the date of birth. He said, he no get reason to change in date of birth. He did sure. Thank God, when he's, he feels this thing, he snap him. He no no say problem go do. He just snap him. When they come do the NIMSI, they remove two years out of his age. He go. The officer in Nimsi office insisted that Femi must pay 50,000 Naira for the correction. Say, now nah, Femi do mistake. In case they go feed you up with the lies, now nah, make I, I they tell you so. Now nah, then they do and deliberately. When they drag, drag, Femi come bring out in phone where he snapped his sleep. Now, their shame catch the officer in question. Honorable President, mm -hmm. what are they talk? We say, I'm not saying yes or no. Maybe now then they do them or no, be them they do them. But what are they talk? We say, yeah, if, and then you if can you do it, they are to give you your sleep immediately. I don't mean the card, there's a printout mm. that they must give to you. If you are there and the printout is not your detail most of time most times we take things for granted mm. as human beings we just maybe just go they will do even you can tell the they say they'll say don't worry we'll correct it later you can go no it is me it is me i mean give it right there this is not what i feel if you say it's a lie oh yeah bring my phone by the time you stand there and ask for your right and demand for your right mm. people will change it but if you just take it they just tell you it doesn't matter it doesn't matter i send most people to jail mm. it doesn't matter say, don't kill so many people mm. it doesn't matter means a carefree attitude mm. it matters everything matters so if you fill your form and immediately they give you that sleep Look at it. Don't just throw it in the pocket and just believe that it doesn't matter. It matters because we are going to harmonize all our data very soon. So data when you get for NIMSI, if it's not the same with immigration, if it's not the same with one you have with uh, road safety for your dialysis, Problem. if it's not the same with one where you get for BVN, if it's not the, the same with the one where you get for telco, Naim be say color uh, yeah, your journey no straight mm -hmm. for holiday. Mm -hmm. So maybe you they do fraud or something because why your date of birth you be your date of birth. Mm. Not it you change it. Your uh, your name you can change your name, but of course there must be affidavit and whatever to change name. But your date of birth you cannot have two dates of birth. So people must understand. But because the data before was disjointed, one day Sokoto, the other one day Karu Karu uh, Kara Namoda, one day Portacot, one day Onicha, one day Akure. There are different data. We don't get one point of contact. Now, in the reason where all these things they happen. But now, with what we, did, we want to do with NIMSI, we will go bring all the data inside one port. So that even if you want to go and do anything like driver license, why do you need to go and be filling your details again? If they take your fingerprint and your biometric, you should bring out your data mm. now. So that the say they do. Mm. So that all this, all this nonsense goes stop. So we are trying to do all this. But make I beg our people say, if you fill form and they they put for computer, bring uh, what's it called? And they print for you. Look them. Be sure to say your name now. Your name. Mm. Be sure to say uh, your date of birth now. Your date of birth. You be sure to say you be man, not be female woman. They put mm. there. You feel male. They go put female. So all this small small problem. You have to be vigilant. So not be me as minister. Not be government. Even spelling error. Even spelling error. Immediately tell them say, oh, you don't make mistake for mm. this thing. Or not be not be my name. Be this. There's error. Oh yeah, I beg. Help me do another. If they say, don't worry, we we'll go do one. We we'll go. We we'll don't so, do one. Don't mm, 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 do a, Take this thing where you give me. Not be my own. Uh, uh, correct them. Give me my own mm. correct one. Mm. But they go just tell you say no problem, no problem, no problem. Nine people they take this, do all this. So make we beg our people because as we they talk, the one will be government own. Make we also talk the one will be our own. 
so that we will know our right and we'll be able to stand on on it then um my barista spoke about removal uh, rem uh, remand order under administration of criminal justice act 2015 uh, i thank you for that it's part of that's part of the reasons why we're actually trying to amend the the the, the, the law as they always say if, uh, why change it if it's not broken what you don't fix what is not broken so we are fixing it because we understand that some areas um are subject to abuse you know by by people and i can assure you with uh, 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 SAN Prince Latif Agwemi, SAN, one of the best lawyers we will get for Nigeria. Well, I'm very, very straightforward, very intelligent, brilliant, and a man of huge respect. We and also have Okutek Basan. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, no, 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 uh, very sound. Uh, so I know him, I know him. So I want to assure you that uh, we are looking into that, and of course, the National Assembly will be able to do the necessary thing on the, because nobody we go do the amendment mm, we can only assembly. propose the national assembly go amend the, go amend the law but i know say the people where we get there they go do the job where they suppose do and they go do and well and then harassment of people uh, across our border is part of what we talk about you spoke about it and it's part of what we will do then um before I go to, the, because I want our recruitment to be the last one I will mm -hmm. talk about. So I don't forget you now. Hey. I will talk um, <laughs> so I don't talk about peculiar allowance. Then visa on arrival, we are reviewing our, we will review our visa policy now. Mm -hmm. So that country, the way you treat us is the way we go treat you. We're going to put here so now. If mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day, you give me visa on arrival to your country, don't worry. Come to Nigeria, you go get visa and arrival. But, but if you say make I pay money, you go pay money. Mm. If you say visa go take two weeks for your own, too, the same thing go take for my own. Aye. So when we do that one, because it is not that we are being wicked. It's international law, international practice, international convention. Mm. Visa anywhere in the world is based on the principle of reciprocity. Mm. I mean, what do you do me? Now I will do you. What till you charge me? Now I suppose they charge you. The way you treat me is the way uh, I will treat you. So we're already working on that. And I'm very sure that very soon the document will be ready for the Mr. President to look at and approve. And of course, Nigeria will be a safer and a better place for all. Then on issue of visa fee for foreigners, yeah, uh, she spoke about uh, UK that uh, $144, I just confirmed it on my phone. That is, some of these details, I've taken them down when I get to the office. Because I don't understand processing service, uh, I don't understand some of these uh, amounts, which I'm not really in tandem with. But when we get to the office, we'll look into some of these things and try to fix those areas that are not in line with our regulations. Now, I also want to say this before the last point. Because of this type of incident is the reason why we are setting up a committee and setting up a team to do what we call inmate audit, correctional service inmate audit. And what is the responsibility? They will go to all the 248 correctional centers that we have in Nigeria and see, make sure they see every inmate one after the other. We are going to have them different bashes, maybe per geopolitical zone. So they will know your name. Why are you here? What is your story? We want to know those that have been detained illegally. Mm. People that don't even have a case file, people that don't have, we want to be able to know every inmate for who the inmate is, not for who they say the inmate is. So we have to know that. So we are going to set that up, which is um, a, a correctional service inmate audit, so that people don't get remanded for no reason. Because I learned that there are some people that are in correctional service today that they are people don't even know where they are yes you know so by the time we solve these problems we'll be able to reach us so we're going to set that up we'll work like what i said on the audit we'll work with the civil society we'll work with the nigerian bar association we'll get uh, work with the legal aid council we'll work with the ministry of justice and of course the correctional service and the ministry of interior I, you, so you know say in the past sorry sir when the uh, government federal government uh, give pardon to prisoners 
you know what they do? Prison uh, correctional center officers. Then they collect from money from some inmates. Now them they go present. Some self the ones they were them present to you where you approve, no be them go come out, out of the prison. Abi? Seem like they are now waiting they happen with that. Don't mm -hmm. don't worry, sir. Mm -hmm. This is an era of renewed hope. Okay, sir. Under President Bola Metinobu, is hope renewed and we will make sure that all this um malfeasances of the past does not repeat okay. uh by the grace of God. Now to the issue, the almighty issue mm. of NIS NSCD, re, NSCDC recruitment. recruitment. I have to be very blunt with you because i've seen a lot of complaints even in my email and but i'm somebody that i try my best to say things the way they are because there's a proverb in yoruba land uh, permit me to say it in yoruba even mm -hmm. though i'll try to translate yoruba will say paroni yi mm -hmm. what it means is that when you lie wow. because you want glorification or honor it will end up in disgrace. Mm -hmm. So in whatever you do, be a bullet, be straight, and say it the way it is. I will not come here to tell you what is not. The issue of the recruitment in question is year 2022 recruitment. It's not, we have not done 2023 recruitment, which is likely all things being equal, all things being equal from around March, uh, April next year to do recruitment. So a lot of these things had been concluded before I just became minister in August. And I know they've done enrollment of um, uh, those people that were recruited. They've done the uh, biometric enrollment and the uh, pay payment uh, IPPIS mm -hmm. enrollment before I came. But immediately I came, I got a letter because I asked questions about it as the chairman of the board. So I got a letter from Federal Character Commission complaining about some uh, irregularities. irregularities. And of course, for me, once I get a letter, I try to get to the bottom, to the bottom of it. So immediately I wrote, I minuted it to the secretary of the board. Why I'm saying this is that, oh, uh, surprisingly, I saw it online. My le the letter they wrote to me and my, my minutes, I saw it on social media. There's nothing to hide. We are running a government. We are not running a secret court. So there's nothing to hide. And when they brought the file to me, government work based on um, uh, Documentary documents mm. and whatever. I saw, where's your... Federal character certificate, I see him. Waiver to do this, I see him. Approval to do this from the press. I saw like almost all the documents mm -hmm. and everything. Oh. So after seeing that, the question for me, two options. Because I have to be very sincere. As I said, governance is not a popularity contest. And it's not for me to say what will make me popular. What it is for me to say and to do what will make the president perform and do well because I'm just a minor part of the president. So mine is to help him, to, to, to assist him to succeed. And I will tell you what it is. The two options I have, or I had, one was to cancel the whole process and all those people recruited, sacked, and sent back to the labor market. If I do that, they have done their documentation, they have done everything, they have legal rights, barista. You know what I'm saying, you're a lawyer. Mm. To take me and take government to court because government had engaged them. Government had signed a contract with them. Government has already um, um, paroled them mm. and everything. So will I just cancel the whole process? Or option two is to be able to say, okay, if there are areas where you have not yet finished, no matter how little, that you guys have not. How do you accommodate these people, one? And two, now make sure that 
we create a sustainable recruitment process mm -hmm. going forward because very transparent. The, very transparent because the problem we have in Nigeria is that we are always looking for emergency solutions to long term problems. Mm. We must build mm. a stronger institution so that even if tomorrow I am not the minister, the, the, the process is there and robust enough to help us. Even when President Bola Metinubu is not president again after, um, by the grace of God, second term. Mm. I, I'm not asking you to say amen. I say amen. Mm. I'm, uh, <laughs> we will have a process that's already working for Nigeria. And what we intend to do is to bring sanity into the recruitment process. So for me, I'm sorry, I cannot cancel Mm. this process because it will be a big legal problem for me and dragging the government into legal battle i don't think is what any reasonable human being will want to do but the oh, the oh, the window that we have there is okay if there are little places where they have not finished how do we accommodate people and don't forget there is no way they will do this recruitment that will not cause issues because there's a recruitment of about five thousand people and the people that applied we had over two million if i'm not wrong two million people applying for five thousand jobs mm. if there is no way for everybody that is happy it brings unhappiness to the other mm. person so it, it is impossible it's like asking three people to stand in twos there's no way three people can stand two two one must stand alone. So, but I understand that the plight of our people is basically the fact that, hey, you maybe, maybe, I'm not confirming, the process was not transparent enough. The anger is not that they did not pick them. The anger is that there was no transparency in the system. For recruitment under my watch as chairman of the board and as minister of interior, I give my word that by the grace of God, we will be able to take charge and ensure that some those things are done. But for this particular one, those vacancies, if there are those ones that are still remaining, we'll make sure they are filled in the most transparent manner. But I will not come on air and promise what I might not be able to do. That's one. Two. Why are we even fighting for things like this? Because we don't have enough jobs. So part of our responsibility is to make sure that we turn some of our agencies into bigger agencies that, are can, that can employ more. Mm -hmm. If you look at all over the world, in the city alone, the fire service, in the city of New York alone, I think the fire service employs over close to um, a million people, if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. So all over the world, fire service is usually one of the highest employers of labor. And that has led me to, I mean, that has led the president to what we call the fire and rescue service. You know, there's a, there's an, uh, there's a bill now in National Assembly which once passed, the president will sign and we'll have what, we, instead of having fire service, we'll have fire and rescue service. So part of it is to be able to indicate, to make sure that through fire service we are able to create over a million paid jobs. How do we end to do that? It's not just about giving promises that we cannot keep. As a government, the Bola Ahmed in both government, will try to give you a promise and try to tell you how we aim to achieve it. Mm. So we are not giving you a promise that there is no methodology of approach. What do I mean by that? Number one, the fire and rescue service, the fire service now becomes more of a regulator than an operator. They will still be operating, but they become more of a regulator. There is nowhere in the world where our public buildings, our commercial centers do not have what we call first responders to emergencies. You see Wusi Market as big as it is, God forbid, if fire starts from a very small place. Fire will always start small. At the end of the day, we do not have emergency responders who have fire rescue and safety officers so what we are looking at doing is to be able to now license the private sector to be able to render these services just like we have licensed the private guard companies 
to recruit security guys like halogen and all these people so we'll be able to use that to make sure that every commercial building every non-residential building has at least some of these officers we must also understand that the job of the fire service all over the world is not just fire they are first responders to any emergency even if there are accidents, there are medical issues like somebody fainted or issue, they are first responders, there are people that are trained. So we must look at how we would now be able to expand the training center of the fire service to capture all these areas where the job of the fire service now will not just to be to train their workers. No. Their job will be to train Nigerians, certify them, give them certificates that cannot be employed by every company. So that every company with minimum of social number of workers will have those emergency responders. In most buildings, in most houses, we have fire extinguishers. But between you and I, fire extinguisher in most places is like a piece of furniture. That's the truth. People don't even know how to use it. Mm. And timely intervention can save billions of naira. Mm. You will see markets, the Balogu market, or oh, you burning at the end of the day, you are waiting for fire. So there should be people that can provide that service mm. before backup comes. And the issue is that <coughs> so when people come and say, oh, it is not every day <coughs> that you have fire, I tell people, in banks, you have security. In banks, you have police. You have civil defense T for security reasons. Is it every day that I'm not mm -mm. So you prepare for an emergency. So these are issues that once we are able to do that, imagine the number of commercial buildings, the number of com markets that we have all over Nigeria. Imagine the number of recruitment and look at the multiplier effect and the number of people gainfully we can take out of the labor market. These are initiatives that we believe that by the time we put them on ground and we start, we will have jobs that is plenty on ground that uh, our people will not have five uh, two million people now struggling for 5,000 vacancies. So that is the issue. So on this, in a nutshell to summarize, on this issue, we were looking at avenues where we can see what we can do to still to, accommodate. To ab absorb some absorb of them. Some, so is there hope for them? Of course, we are not. Uh, our this, this government is a government of renewed hope. It's not a government of renewed hopelessness. So there's, there is hope, you know, but we have to put it on ground. I mean, the disgruntled um, recruits. No, we will, we will treat every case on its merit okay. and look at the available vacancy that we have and see what can be done. But the good thing is this is already October. I know the next recruitment is also in very March. soon in March or thereabout. And of course, that one, I can assure the level of transparency that will be there that will make people happy. But for me to push Nigeria as a government, to push in, uh, the agencies into, of course, litigations, I will not do that. But Thank I've you. also appealed that if there's anybody that has, because all I've been hearing, I cannot work based on rumor. Government does not work on rumor. Government will work on facts. If there are petitions to my office specifically, indicting one or two people or whoever that has done some of these things Mark with Mark evidence, Mark. then of course I'm the chairman of the board, and the board has power of disciplinary action. We'll take it up and we'll discipline people. But for me to just say, oh, somebody said uh, this person collected money without any, without the person they collected money from even coming forward or even mm. bringing a petition to me, even if I discipline the person and they take me to court, there is no way. No evidence. Uh, there's no evidence. There's no way I will survive it. So we are a country of laws. We are not a country of dogs. Do you have anything to say? Give him the microphone. Please. What is Thank you very name, much sir? for this audience giving to us, sir. Mm. So actually, we applied. Your name? My yes. name is Oshinu Bika in the Which I'm, one did you apply for? I applied for Nigeria Immigration Service. Mm -hmm. So I applied um, this year. It was this year we applied, and we have a timetable for this exercise. This exercise, we are supposed to get the um, the appointment invite um, late um, August, but there was a kind of shift due to the change in power that took place, which made them suspend this exercise process till September. So in our um, surprise was that when it got to a point of getting invites for this SSM for appointment letter, 
we during the process of CBT exams and the verification process, we met ourselves, those people that partake in this exercise, and we had a platform whereby we co we communicate with each other. To our greatest surprise, none of us from East State and from Ogun State. We have WhatsApp platform for Ogun State. We begin to call ourselves to order. Did you get invite for this um, appointment process? None from each state got an invite. The same way it happens to us in Ogun State, happens to them in Lagos State, happens to no. Let's uh, uh, after you will hear for uh, okay, sir. So we got that, and it's so surprising that even this when we are here doing this uh, movement for this um, bracket movement. Most of our people are stick most of them that did not apply at all. They did mm. not go through this process. Mm. They are in they are in Soka presently doing documentation. And they are telling us that they they went they went to bring appointment letter to them at home. Thank you. And sir, we still have evidence of politicians having slot of one person, having fifty candidates. You have the, we have the evidence okay, with us. Everything okay, is with us. Okay. Uh, next person, if you want to talk. Good morning, sir. My name is Aaron. Um, from uh, which state? From River State. Mm. Um, we all traveled to River State, and one good thing we did among all the applicants is that we gather ourselves, we have WhatsApp platform, where we all interact mm -hmm. to ask. To our surprise, none of us can testify that the person gets it. The only people we are seeing outside the platform getting it is they will tell us that they have connection. Mm. They will tell us that. Um, uh, they paid for it. Some of them spent seven hundred fifty thousand to get. Do you the have job. evidence? Yes, we have evidences. Do you have? Uh, do you have? Um, can these people come forward to 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 attest? Yes. Are they willing? Yes, sir. Thank you. And um, to, to this effect, before we came to Brekete, all of us gathered to Minister of Interior mm. to to meet the minister by ourselves. Could you believe that these same people at the gates brought uh, special forces, they cover their fees, pack us one corner, refusing us access to see the minister. Some of them even crack gun on us. We have no choice than to go. That's why we even brought this. Today, uh, this the minister this is here. Thank you. Are you happy to see the minister? Yes, sir. Thank you. Good morning, my ordinary president. Good morning, our humble minister. Mm. My name is Ezeke Choma. I'm from Enugu State. Mm. On the day of CBT, yes. I never know such a thing will occur, but I just decided on my own to create a platform within the CB Center, Bishop Otubelu, in Enugu State. That is where I wrote my uh, exam. So on that day, the time on our paper, invitation letter, to prove that we wrote that exam, we sit for the exam. After the exam, on, on July, uh, June 22nd, they shortly said us again, they invite us to travel all the way to Portacourt, which we did. And we did it for the physical verification and uh, certificate uh, screening. They check it. To our greatest surprise, August, this August 15th, we are expecting the, their calls for them to send it through our portal, for them to invite us for documentation and uh, collection of appointment letter. To our greatest surprise, none of us, we are 150 something in my own personal group. I created the day we went for exam. None of us, not even one person can testify that he get this job. And again, we decided to go to board to see you. They prevented us for, for seeing you, sir. So we decided to come to Berekete family. Share your Yoka. experience at Sauka, the day okay. you went to Sauka. On the 15th the, uh, of on. August. See. Calm down. Honorable Minister, please listen to her, sir. On 15th of August, the day they started that uh, documentation, as a group leader, I didn't see anybody that is fine. So I decided to go to soccer to see, because I applied for civil defense. I went to soccer to check what is happening. So when I went there, I, 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 when I got there, I said, they arrested me. I said, no. I'm not here for any of that. Why?
when I got to Soka, I wrote uh, the statement. They well, gave me paper to write the you statement. You told me that you discovered that a lady that was not supposed to be yes. there was there. Can you please talk? Okay. During the process in Soka, they pointed out a lady doing documentation among them. They said, let her show me the paper she came with, since I don't know the paper. The lady now brought the final paper, which which is the invitation for appointment. And the lady is not supposed to come with only that one. The lady is supposed to come with the first for CBT, second for physical screening, the last for that collection of appointment, which the lady couldn't ha have get any proof for it. She didn't even, she was like, her, her, her exam, she, she didn't even know that she, some persons are writing so exam. Wait, oh. She was not even aware of She was exam. not even aware of exam, but they seized my phone. That is, was my problem that day. So that, uh, that was your that was experience on 15th. at that Sauka? Was, yes, sir. Finally, please. Finally, we decided to come here because this is where we can get our justice. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good morning, ordinary president. Good morning, honorable minister. My name is Umar Ali. I'm from Niger State. Mm. Uh, on the 28th of August, most of us that actually applied for the Nigeria Immigration Service and Civil Defense Corps, as the national leader for the applicants, I actually mobilized other applicants from other states. After getting our facts from everybody that none of us were invited for this um, exercise for the appointment. appointment. So when we got to the board on the 28th, we were just trying to see how we can get access to the board secretary because we heard that they actually opened the portal for those that actually applied to check their names if they are successful. So when we got there, none of us from our platform were able to access the invitation. But we got to like, I think four days, we started seeing images from Facebook that people, some people with um, the um, politicians, they are displaying appointment letter that it should come for documentation, we're surprised. So we, stick, we keep asking, I keep making my investigation to other states, other states. Nobody could say anything from our state that they are receiving an appointment later. So when we got to the board, we decided to make our, con our doubts clear. We stayed there for some time. They could not allow us to get access to the, to the um, board secretary. So with a, I think a deputy um, secretary to the board and the commander, deputy commander came to horse outside and they were like what brought us away like explain to them that sir we've been here since morning and they could not allow us to get access to clear our doubts people have been receiving um, messages to come for documentation but we actually are the real uh, applicants we did not get any invitation so what happened so at the end of the day the boss secretary said is a lie we are just lying i said no sir me i'm from niger State. i did my cbt at mina i did my psychometric at mina and this some other persons that came from meduguri some other persons came from casina they all came and able and testified to the same thing and since since then they said that's why i decided to come to this place sir thank you Somebody from Casina told me that a politician that is their neighbor got um, the job for 50 people th that did not apply. Uh, please uh, invite that, uh, uh, that person. Outside. He's outside, right? Outside. Don't worry. Uh, uh, we'll, uh, I, I will attach him to the minister's uh, people. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, because I'm so sorry because um, we are launching the emblem, Abi, Abi, for the um, um, Forces Remembrance with yes. the president by 12 o'clock. Oh, so you after this, I will just have to take no, my uh, bar, uh, bar mm. and um, go. Well, <coughs> um, first of all, let me say this. I identify with your struggle but that you started this year does not mean it's this year's recruitment that's what i'm trying to say i have to make that clear mm. it's 2022 it's just like the way we do 2023 maybe in Against march it does, that we're doing in 24 does not make it so and two as much as i will do my best and i will advise that you put all these your evidences in writing to me so that i can work on it and see the merit of it and be able to work on it. I don't want to work on rumors. Let me have something concrete. As much as I will do that, 
I also want to correct an impression. The impression uh, is this. It is not at all times that we demonize government. You cannot say, okay, two million people, I mean, over two million people applied. Definitely, you cannot say that you had WhatsApp group of all the two million people. Mm -mm. So it is possible that some people also applied and were, might have gotten the job. There is no way a service we want to recruit 5,000, they're going to bring all 5,000 that were not, um, uh, what's it called? All of them cannot be. So I just want us to be so rational, even at the peak of our emotional um, issues, and we should face facts. So for me, please put it together, let me have it, and I will do my investigation, and I assure you of my fairness. I will do what is fair to you and what is fair to those people too. Thank because you. I will not sit down, I have to be an independent arbiter. I have to protect your interest as Nigerians, and those people too are also Nigerians. So I have to look at the process and be able to know what to do within the ambit of law. So I plead with you, please be calm. Um, just know that this government cares about you. And um, the president is very passionate about the plight of all Nigerians. And we will do all that is within our powers to make sure that we bring sukkah. And at least you can see light at the end of the, of the tunnel. tunnel. Thank That's you. the most important thing. Please, I beg you, be, be calm. Uh, trust the process. Trust this government. Trust the president. And as the Minister of Interior, trust me. Thank and you. for the way you were handled, once again, I apologize. Mm. And please be rest assured. We care about you. We will protect your interest and we'll protect the interest of all Nigerians. Thank God you. bless you. Thank you. Make we appreciate the minister. <laughs> Sandy Herman, he said, All we need, no, no, two minutes, sir. You go, come out now. Um, all we need as a country is to identify human resources which we have in abundance that are ready to serve, like this minister. God bless you. Let's appreciate. <laughs> Mata Musa, he said, my ordinary, I knew that that hand is not going to work again. The very day he said he doesn't feel pains in some part of the hand. I have the same experience when I had an accident. So they have to amputate mine. Sorry, Mata. Thank you. My brothers, my sisters, even I looked on and I see the time done, they give us signal, signal to do it, and signal make we excuse the honorable minister. But before we, we do that, we go first of all appreciate um, um, Population Commission, which will be their full name National Population, National Population Commission for their patience and their understanding. Make we appreciate them. Uh, we're going to finish this program 12, 12 o'clock because of them. Be, uh, you know, go good, say them come, they no talk. And waiting, carry them come. They're very important. In fact, Nigerians go on and understand waiting been don't happen before, waiting they happen now, and waiting they happen will happen in the future. But for now, make we excuse the Honorable Minister of Interior. Make we appreciate John as the day. And I could not go uh, help me escort the minister, make you go. Thank you. <laughs> Meanwhile, the minister they carry the young man with uh, 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 suffer injustice. Uh, maybe you won't go ask him where we're outside. Maybe uh, the process don't start. Make we appreciate the honorable minister. <laughs> oh, no, go clap now, Baba the Bele. Mm. Because when I still say this, 
This minister, uh, no girl big belly. Make one appreciate him. Um.